So today is uh, January 30th, uh, 2020, and we got a bunch of fishing this week. A lot of cool stuff that uh, we don't see often, so that is cool. I was really excited about this list. First up. Some uh, blue cars. Cool fish, not the electric blue. They're kind of the, the natural variant. Still very okay. pretty fish though. So. Neolamprologus brevis sunspot. Cool little shell dweller. Um, there's a ton of variants of the brevis. Um, and this is one of them. Not really show color in the bag too much. I mean, they're not a super vibrant fish, but their behavior is what makes them really cool. L128, Blue Phantom, looking good, looking good. I know we've had people asking for the blues and the greens. I got both of them this week, so. Nice. Uh, just some common, common bushy nose or bristle nose plecos. Uh, I think we have one left, so I had to get a bunch more. Uh, Julia Chromastic Feldi. Cool Julie, um, nice blue uh, rim around their fins. Uh, just cool little fish. You can put them with the shell dwellers, uh, you know, other Tanganyikans. <coughs> Black ruby barbs, really cool fish when it becomes mature. When they're small like this, they don't have the nice red, but the males get a, just a beautiful like red tint to them. Uh, really cool fish. Get pretty good size for a barb, too. Oh boy, here's the wiggly boys. <laughs> Some peacock eels. Oh, okay. So. Modes. I haven't seen these guys in a while. This is the one, one of the ones I was talking about. Just a really cool, uh, cool South Central American fish. Nice red spots all over their body and whatnot. So, yeah. There we go. Here's another one. Silver datnoid. A really cool, big, uh, you know, get big and predatory like fish. Um, kind of, kind of shy when they're small like this, but as they get big, they really come into their own and just become these sweet carn carnivorous fish. Uh, here is another discus, white butterfly. Oh, Very cool. stressed out in the bag, but um, he will color up. Another datnoid. Green phantom. That's a nice one. Nice, uh, almost got a little yellow to him. Pretty cool looking. The green phantom. Here is a red cover discus. He was kind of an oddball at the wholesaler. He said, hey, we have this left. Do you want it? I was like, sure. So. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> Pistic Grandma McMaster Eye Rednecks. They came in good size. Look at they're already a little colorful in the bag, even even in the bag. So that's cool. Nice. Looks like there's uh, at least two big males there. So nice looking fish, kind of a different episto. It's got color on its fins as well as its body. Usually you get one or the other. Yeah, kind of you get both of them. All right, so these I believe these are the T bars. Relative of the convict, but 
They are a lot cooler than the convict, and they don't breed quite as fast as the convicts do. So. People were asking for those guys. Okay, got them. Marble hatchets. Marble hatchets always do well. Oh yeah, those are cool. So they're kind of the, the coolest of the hatchets, in my opinion. Get a little cool speckling pattern. Don't get as quite as big as some of the platinums and whatnot, but um, cool fish. Uh, I have blood parrots, and the cool thing about these blood parrots, some of them have been coming in as King Kongs. So if you're looking for a King Kong. We might have some in this order. Those blood parrots went fast yeah. last time. Yeah. They're really nice looking blood parrots, honestly. They don't have the super derpy faces and the derpy mouse. Oh, okay. Oh, there's why there's a bunch of water in the bag. Uh oh. He's alright, though. Hyphen variatus platys. Cool little platy. Yeah, look at those. Sweet. Scientifically, they are different than like your typical red wag and whatnot. They're pretty cool though. Nice pop of color for a small tank. Uh, Alright, we got some festes. Red tears. Also, what they're called. Some a mono shrimp. Great algae eater for a community tank as long as you don't have anything that's gonna pick them off. They're probably my favorite algae eater. They just make quick work of things. Okay. What would you not want to put them with? Uh, you know, I think bigger. So, I mean, those are kind of small, so I wouldn't put those in with like Grammys or Angels or anything like that. Obviously, your African cichlids, South American cichlids. Um, but if you get bigger ones, sometimes you can get away with those with like Angels and stuff. Okay. So, here we go. Jardini Arowana. Ooh. Beautiful little guy. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Got two of those. Oh, look at all these guys. They're all clumped up together. The sun spike nearite snails. Very cool pattern Whoa. on them. Whoa. And uh, <laughs> very cool pattern, a little coloration, and obviously the spikes. So those are really nice ones, too. Yeah, those are cool. I've never seen anything like that before. Zebra Nearites, been wanting these for a while, and they finally pop back, pop back up on the list. Probably the uh, most desirable, or the one we sell the best of, at least, the Nearites. I don't know, those sun, those sun spike Nearites, they might uh, might outsell them this time around. <laughs> uh, Jardini Arowana, another one. So, they're just cute little guys. So, I'm happy. I got silvers, but they didn't send them to me, so that sucks. Oh, here we go. You know about these. <laughs> yep. Good old assassin snails. A uh, you know, great little um, great little thing if you're trying to get rid of some snails, but you don't want to put a loach in your tank. That could potentially bug your other fish. Um, although, someone did tell me yesterday that they like to go after shrimp, so don't put them in a shrimp tank. And there here you are the shrimp. There <laughs> reds. Uh, I got a bunch of them in here, so it's like a few down, but I'll count them and... We got 50, because they've been selling like hotcakes. Good stuff. Alright. Box number three coming up. Set honey grammies. Oh, cool. So, just a cool little dwarf grammy. Not super flashy like the powder blue or the uh, uh, flames, but still a cool grammy. A little more uh, inclusive in nature than the other two, but they're still a cool fish. Uh, Plictris colibia. One of the cooler, in my opinion, of the Plictris. It's got just cool striping on it and whatnot. It's got that nice big. Uh, 
fin. They're just cool looking. Cool looking creatures. You can tell that they've been around for a while. All right, red snakeskin guppies. All these uh, fancy male guppies have been doing really well. Yeah, all the snakeskins so, have been flying out of here. Keep getting them. Uh, here's another white butterfly discus. So, kind of got a white body and then it'll kind of have on its fins the typical like striping that you would see on like a turquoise. You can kind of see it there. Another silver datinoid. There's Palmas. There's another one. I forgot what the common name of this one is, but it's a cool thrifters. Grooving around in there. Yeah, they're always moving. There's another one that decided to get a little feisty with the bag, but it's looking just <laughs> fine. They even double bagged it. Oh. <laughs> Green neons. Didn't realize how much of a demand there was for green neons um, until I got them two weeks ago and they just keep selling out. So keep getting more. They're just a really cool nano fish. Kind of got more of a, well, a green tint to them. They don't have the red though that your typical neon has. So. Uh, Berlin Kois. Just needed some more swords in here. I got the pineapples, but I need something a little different. And these guys fit the bill. So kind of a cool, nice black and Orange speckling to them. Females. A bunch of females. People have been asking for females, so I got 25 of them. Alright, Opaline Grammys. Oh, little jumper there. Uh, <laughs> it's your full size grommy, you know, he'll get a pretty good size, good with angelfish and whatnot, as long as you have a tank suit big enough. Uh, 29 gallons or bigger would be cool. Uh, some more flamingos. Some of these got a really nice, like, almost pink tint to them, which is cool. That's where they get, that's where they get their name from, but, yeah, those are nice looking. Oh, those are cool looking. Be nice. We uh, had quite the demand for them, and they're just a cool fish. Doesn't pop up too often. I mean, you can see even small; they have beautiful coloration to them. So, especially for a uh, um, Central American fish. Nimbo chromis venusis. There they are. Not much else to say about them. Also called the giraffe, giraffe cichlid, because of their cool yeah, giraffe-like cool like pattern. pattern. Yeah, so, kind of one of the bigger, bigger African cichlids. Get some good size to them. All right. And there was one. Four. This one was inspected by. <gasps> U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Cut right through that thing. <laughs> oh, damn, where's our fish? <laughs> uh, rubber lip plecos. Kind of a cool uh, pleco. We're looking for something a little different than... Uh, then the uh, bristlenose, they're also called bulldog plecos, so it's a cool little name for them. Probably because they have those big wide lips, big mouse. Um, here are six of 12 peacock bass, or not peacock bass, uh, OB peacocks. So, some pretty nice looking ones in there, that one's probably going to be pretty cool looking. That one's got a lot of speckling. So. <clears throat> Cacos. Really cool rainbow. Dwarf rainbow. Just really cool pom-pom looking fins. These came in pretty good size too, which is always awesome. 
Uh, the males kind of get these really nice yellow fins. Uh, females don't really have it, but if you want to have the males dance, you got to have some females in there. The dancing fish. Yep. All of those uh, pseudomogial rainbows, they kind of do a little thin, thin dancing for their females. And there's the other six of those OBs. Redhead Severns, kind of cool, different Severn, you don't see every day of the week. Just small and gray right now though. <laughs> uh, L128, Phantom. Hadiensis, Black Nasties. Small, but they uh, they grow pretty quick in our tanks. They're uh, just gotta feed them pretty good, and they get big real quick. Peacock gudgeons. Here's a cool little fish. I haven't had one in a while, and I haven't had them in the store in a while. But pretty cool. The uh, wait. A Tell the difference between the genders is you just look at their head shape. Uh, the males are kind of a little more curved, and the females are kind of more slanted. So those are cool fish. Cool little bottom dweller. <coughs> Parrot. Parrot. All right. Gold tetras. One of my favorite tetras. Um, kind of stressed out in the bag here, but these are. Really cool tetra, look amazing in a planted tank. Um, and they got a little bit of growing to do, really small, but <coughs> contrast with the gold just really pops behind the uh, all the green plants. There's another white butterfly discus. Again, not showing too much in the bag. Right. Cooly loaches. Oh. Oh yeah. The hard to catch. Oh yeah, some people are really creeped out by these things, but they are cool. And two more bags. Uh, purple Tetris. I wasn't exactly sure what I was getting here because I couldn't find anything about the scientific name online. Um, they're kind of pale, but we'll see what they look like out of the tank or out of the bag. And last. Certainly not least, another beautiful green Phantom Pleco L200. So, yeah, that's a heck of a variety. Yeah, we got a good variety here, a little bit for everyone. That's what we try to do here. Um, so, come on by, check us out. Um, I, don't, I don't have much else to say about that. <laughs> it's all we need to say, it's yeah. all right here. <laughs> yeah.